Today's video is sponsored by Sonic Cinema. More on that in a bit. If you're looking to write gritty, dark trailer music like this, then stick around because in this video, I'm gonna walk you through my process scoring Blood Commandment by Simon Kudransky. I recorded this video last year when I was working on it, but now that the trailer is out, I can finally share it with you all. And if you want an extended cut of this video, you can check it out on Patreon. The link is in the description. So I knew I wanted to go with something dark and I started off with just finding some synths. Doesn't matter what you use, but I started off by finding this little kind of ambient pulse that I thought set up a nice tone. Kind of spacey. Now that kind of fades out as time goes on. Kind of rided the volume a little bit for some interest. And that didn't feel like quite enough there, so I decided to add some strings. So those are celli and basses. Now that's kind of more or less what happens in the first half. Now in the second half, we needed more pulsiness. So what I started off with was um, some colenio strings. So I had this going in eighth notes, just for a pulse essentially. And then I'm gonna show you what I actually did to kind of enhance it. Now that wasn't enough for me. I wanted more percussive elements. I wanted it to feel even grittier and with more bite. So I ran it through this plugin that I have called Tremolator by Sound Toys. I came up with a pattern just arbitrarily. So with the Colenio together, sounds like this. And for more push, I even actually doubled the spiccatos in different libraries as well. So all together. And then here we wanted some kind of an ending. I wanted just like a sustain. A That's more or less the strings. Now, obviously we need a lot more. Brass, I decided to save for the second half because the first half is very um, ambient and I wanted to keep it that way and save the power. Use that along with um, some horns for some push that come in at the second part of that. This is 12 horns. More or less outlining the kind of um, harmony that the strings are doing. Okay, so that plus the strings sounds like this. Now, if you're interested in these evocative orchestral textures, I definitely recommend you check out String Swells by Sonic Cinema. As you could guess, String Swells is a library filled with string swells recorded by 16 of the best string players in the UK. The samples were recorded in British Grove Studios by Nick Wallage, who was involved in some of John Powell's work, including How to Train Your Dragon and Solo, A Star Wars Story. What I love about this library is both its inspiration and its playability. It's inspiring because unlike other string libraries, it's got lots of pre-recorded sounds baked in. So you're getting the real performance of these players. There are five styles ranging from normale to tremolo to sul ponticello. There's also 50 presets which allows for lots of instant inspiration. But even with the pre-recordings it's still extremely playable because of the tempo synced ability of all of the patches. See each patch can be adjusted by the bar length or the tempo and there's also an engine included called Gator which allows for more rhythmic effects like what I've done in my trailer. Now if you're interested and you want to check it out I recommend you check it out before September 20th because they're running a 20% off launch sale. I've linked that in the description. Thanks so much Sonic Cinema and back to the video. So okay we've got a pretty good foundation here with the strings and with the brass. Now let's move on to the more ambient stuff and the audio that I used. What I started off with was a heartbeat because I thought that would be kind of a nice little opening pulse. So we start off with this heartbeat. And then I also added in um, one more drone that I found that I thought was kind of cool. And the string harmonics and then the low strings. 
and that's more or less done for me. I'm happy with that. So for this part, obviously, this is where all the oomph is. And again, to remind you, here's what it sounds like without any of these effects. So it's already working pretty well. So we start off with some trailer hits. Just to accentuate what's happening on screen. We also have some synth brams, like the blah sound. So now it's starting to sound pretty oomphy. Now I wanted some stuff to support those chunking strings. So we worked with two pulses. Here's the first one. That's been EQ'd heavily. This one has, I think, a little bit more presence. And I let that one keep some of those subs. So together. And then all the effects together, the audio. Okay, now we finish off with some guitars doing these droning like um, Dark Knight stuff. And another riser. And hard cut there, I thought it'd be cool to hard cut. And have one more final hit at the end and a drone. Now we're not quite done. The last step would be the mixing and mastering process. All these are routed to send their audio as well as the reverb over to these individual tracks, which I can mix. So I did some EQing in the strings here. So these string shorts now sound like instead of uh, this, which they sound like originally. They sound like this. So a little bit more bite and presence and removing some of those lows. I pretty much did similar things to all the instruments. Here is the EQ for the brass that I did. So again, removing some of the lows. The most impactful uh, mix that I did was involving the random synths and things. But I also, again, removed the lows and had a pretty substantial dip here uh, whenever this frequency pops in and is unpleasant. Because without that, it was sounding like this a little bit crowded in that space. So with it. As well as some volume tweaks. So altogether the finished mix and master sounds like this. Thanks for watching this throwback video. Remember the extended version is up on Patreon if you wanna check that out. And if you did enjoy this video, leave a like and subscribe for more. See you in the next one.